Assalamu alaikum. This is your brother Majid Mahmoud recording for wealthinislam.com. Does money make a person happy? Is money a source of every evil? Can money be with those that are religious? Can I be a Muslim, proper, alim, scholar, sheikh, qara that is a multi-millionaire in the same time? Before I answer that question, be honest with yourself. What's the answer to it? Yes or no? Just for a few seconds. Okay, now that you got your answer, or maybe you're still thinking, as a believer, you have to know right away that absolutely, yes, you can be very rich and be very religious in the same time. You can be the one that has all the money in the world. In addition, be the one who supports everyone that is in need and be in the highest level in paradise. Look at Rasulullah wasallam, and don't forget to say Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Look at the example. He was the best of the best. And at one time, in authentic hadith, Rasulullah had a mount of vehicles, ghanam, which is like animals, that covered the valley between two mountains. And wasn't he a multi-millionaire at that time, if not even more? Absolutely. Wasn't he happy with it? Of course he was. He was Rasulullah. And he gave it all away for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to that man who was not a Muslim. And then he was so excited and he said, Oh Rasulullah, like all this great stuff, can I take it? Then the Prophet gave it to him. And then I went outside to this people and said, Ya qawm, ya qawm, O people, believe in that man, for he gives without fearing poverty. SubhanAllah. Look at Sulaiman alayhi salam, Prophet Sulaiman, the richest person ever walked on the face of this earth. Let me add one more point. And the richest person that will ever walk on the face of this earth. Even in the future, we know it. there's no one that will go beyond Sulaiman alayhi salam. Why? He said in the Quran, قَالَ رَبِّ اغْفِرْ لِي وَهَبْ لِي مُلْكًا لَا يَنْبَغِي لِأَحَدٍ مِّنْ بَعْدِي إِنَّكَ أَنْتَ الْوَهَّابِ Oh Allah, give me kingdom, dominion, wealth, yes wealth, give me cash, give me money, give me power that no one ever had, no one ever has and no one will ever have. And wasn't he happy? Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to Sulaiman alayhi salam who will be attaining the dose al-a'la, the highest ever. Wasn't Abu Bakr al-Siddiq, Abdul Rahman bin Awf, the 10 people that were promised paradise. How many of these 10 people, radiallahu anhu, these great companions, the Prophet said, you're in Jannah, you're in Jannah, you're in Jannah. How many of them were multi-millionaires? Abu Bakr al-Siddiq radiallahu anhu, he's known as a Siddiq and he has also another nickname. What was it? What's his other nickname? Al-Atiq, the one who frees the slaves. He had so much money, he would buy a slave, free him, buy the slave and free him. And who were one of these slaves? Bilal radiallahu anhu. Look at Uthman bin Affan, every other fundraiser you go to. And Uthman bin Affan, when he gave for the sake of Allah, right? You cannot help but mention Uthman bin Affan, such a multi-millionaire. Abdurrahman bin Awf radiallahu an, he says, I never picked up something from, from my house, a rock or a sheet, except that I found a, a coin of silver or gold or whatever for how rich he was. So this concept that a religious person cannot be happy with money or basically the concept that money comes only with evil, that's incorrect. But the question that you, we should ask, what's that one element? Had we have along with money, then we will benefit, then we'll be happy from it. That's a real awesome question. The, the answer to this question, brothers and sisters, it is Iman. Bring me Iman with whatever blessing with Allah that has blessed you with, that will be a source of happiness to you. What's the proof? Allah said in the Quran, من عمل صالحا من ذكر أو أنثى وهو مؤمن فلنحيينه من عمل صالحا من ذكر أو أنثى وهو مؤمن فلنحيينه حياة طيبة ولنجزينهم أجرهم بأحسن ما كانوا يعملون. Whoever does a righteous deed along with Iman, what will happen? فَلَنُحْيِيَنَّهُ حَيَاةً طَيِّبًا We will bless them with a good life. Subhanallah. So if you have money, is it with Iman? Yes. Then بِإِذْنِ اللَّهِ you'll be happy with it. Because Iman will allow you to get the money from a halal resource, spend it in a way that pleases Allah, and enjoy your time with whatever Allah made permissible and you fulfill your duties with it. That's when Iman comes in place. Many people are rich, filthy rich, 
but they're miserable. They commit suicide. Why? They're missing the iman component. Even if they got it from the halal perspective, they still work in the proper business and they spend it for orphans, etc. But there's no iman. It will not work out, subhanAllah. So the key point is iman. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless me and you with wealth had it been good for us. Along with Iman, to be of benefit to the whole Ummah and be with the Sahaba and with the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam all the way, inshallah, we meet all together in Jannah. Jazakumullah khair. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.